Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow home. Golden, 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 golden. spring rainbow trout and Breakfast after a workout is just the best thing ever. I'm always looking forward to my breakfast. I like eating my main breakfast like after the workout, but as you've seen, I will have a little snack before the workout so I can actually have some energy to do the workout. This is so good. I love wraps because you can just like throw whatever in there and it will likely end up being good. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
most importantly, let's do a taste test. It's really good. I think the matcha gives it a little bit of an extra taste, which I love. Instead of matcha, just add a shot of espresso and I think that would be also really, really good. I'm so tired of studying. Yeah, I decided to take a little break, get myself a nice little snack. I got a weird combination, but you gotta get the best of both worlds. So I have carrots and I also have some tortilla chips and salsa. And I'm gonna snack on this to kind of motivate me to study a little bit more. This is the literal definition of a balance. <laughs> One random fact about me is that I don't like following recipes. If I want to make something specific that might be a bit harder to make, sure, I will love to check out a recipe and follow every single detail on that. But when it comes to day-to-day -day cooking, I just check out what is in my fridge, in my pantry, what ingredients I have at home and what I feel like eating in that moment. And based on all of those factors, I will decide on a meal that I can make. For instance, today I was sure that I want to make some pasta with those green tagliatelle that you just saw and I also had some chicken breast at home and a bunch of frozen spinach. So I decided to make tagliatelle with a creamy chicken sauce and add some spinach into it. Was this recipe perfect and did it work flawlessly? Absolutely not, but I think we can all learn from mistakes and I just like to experiment, see what happens. One thing that went wrong is I chose the wrong pan size for this and even the second pan was almost way too small. Mistakes like this happen all the time and I'm not gonna pretend like they don't or try to make it more aesthetic. I also bought the wrong type of like cooking cream and it was way too solid. But let's go back to what I was saying. Making mistakes is necessary and you can learn so much from them. Do not even think twice and waste time thinking about these small fixable mistakes like I put frozen spinach inside of the already cooked chicken sauce and I should definitely not have done that and I realized way too late. But again, it's so easily fixable and the food still turned out pretty okay. It is really not worth it to think too much about these mistakes and worry about them. I have learned how to cook and I quite enjoy cooking now, but in the past I've made some huge mistakes when cooking, I've made inedible food, and I used to be so frustrated when something didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. But now I realize that all of those moments just taught me what not to do next time and what I could improve. And like that, improving one small thing at a time, not worrying about the mistakes that I made, I learned how to cook stuff that I like and how to make less mistakes. If you are intimidated by cooking or you don't have the courage to try out new recipes or to even try cooking without a recipe, I really encourage you to just go for it. It's not gonna be that bad and you're gonna feel so proud of yourself when you actually do it. Let's do a taste test. They're really good, but you can definitely feel the spinach, so if you don't like spinach, maybe don't put some inside. Like, I feel like kind of dry, which is weird. But I really like them, like, they have some veggies, they have protein, and they're really easy to make, so I would definitely recommend this. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you get some inspiration out of it. It would help me out a lot if you would like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And I'll see you in my next video.